Welcome back. What am I supposed to do here? The architecture you're seeing is data. My data. When I'm plugged into the chair, this is what I see. What's this? You're using an earlier version of that technology. A brainwave scanner instead of a direct neural wire. Look around. Hmm. Do you see that yellow column in the distance? That's long-term memory storage. That's your goal. Okay. But you can't just retrieve that data yourself. Why One not? of the programs loaded in that holotech is called the Index. They're represented by the friendly green sprites milling around. Do you see them? Yes. The indexers have one purpose, to get the data in the yellow column and bring it back to the memory access point. You need to help them get there and back safely. Okay. Once they've recovered all the data in the memory, the program will translate it into something you can understand. If you oh. ever need to leave the simulation, then don't worry. Nothing gets reset. You can keep going from wherever you left off. Good to know, I guess. Good. You are across the gap. But now you have to deal with the security systems. That red firewall is blocking you and your indexes from reaching the data. Mm-hmm. Do you see that green beam of light? That's a decoder beam. It can destroy the firewall. You just need okay. to direct the beam to its vulnerable spot. So, how do I do that? I need code. So, how do I get code? Aha! Why the hell is that one over it? Get up there. No. How do well, I? You are across the gap. How do I rotate but now? This? You have to deal with the security systems. There we go. That red firewall is blocking you and your indexers from reaching the data. There we go. Do you see that green beam of light? Shut up, Dima. That's a decoder beam. It can destroy the firewall. You just need to direct the beam to its vulnerable spot. Come on, little bug thing. Now you just need to create a path to the data with code blocks, and your indexers can get to work. Get to it, little tick man. The system has been alerted to your presence. Now things will get hairier. You'll need to deploy defense constructs against the system's active countermeasures. The system's sentries will do everything they can to stop your yeah, indexes yeah, yeah, from yeah. returning to the access point with the data. Are we done yet? into the next memory. Not Just time. step into the data stream where this memory was stored. Right, memory so. file identification 0v-9ax0 
Convert it to audio transcription. Beginning playback. Things are not going well with Far Harbor. Several of my people have been assaulted, spat at, interrogated for no reason. This is getting out of control. But there's still a chance they can learn to trust us. We just need one of their own who's on our side. I can't let anyone know what I'm about to do. I'll need to set up the equipment far away from Acadia. It'll double as a place to bury the evidence. Additional location data appended. A makeshift medical facility underneath the Vim. Pop factory. Coordinates downloaded. Uh, that doesn't sound too good. Uh, another one. Alright, this does have some nice, uh, uh, mechanics, but I'm already getting a little annoyed with it. Complete memory retrieved. Finally. The data stream is now available to access the net memory. Memory file identification. 0H-3X0P. Convert it to audio transcription. Beginning playback. I've made a contingency plan in case Far Harbor discovers the truth, or gives in to their xenophobia despite all my efforts. I've isolated the wind turbine powering Far Harbor's fog condensers. A kill switch command will leave them defenseless from the fog and its creatures. But now that it's done, am I really capable of this? This massacre that I've engineered? I'm going to remove the command code from my memories. I'll bury a hard copy if I need to use it. But I can't keep it close to me. It makes me sick. Additional location data appended. Coordinates to the kill switch command code and the wind farm maintenance building. So he's coming up with plans for just about any contingency. <sighs> Why can't we be just be done with this? It's annoying. That's one hundred time verify. Good job. You can use the data stream to access the next memory, as usual. Memory file identification. Zero Z dash seven A four K. Converted to audio transcription. Beginning playback. Get away from me! What the hell are you? It's me. We escaped the Institute together. You're my brother. I don't have a brother. The name's Nick Valentine. And no one in my family tree is a plastic skin freak. You're just confused. Let me help. Stay away from me! I don't want to hurt you! Well, that didn't really sound like Nick. <sighs> Seriously? Oh, this is gonna be a fucking blast. Well, I'm actually gonna call this one good for now. I'll probably figure this one out later because although this is a nice mechanic I think it's much better in smaller doses and I am completely burned out on it already well thanks for watching